channel. My name is Brown with the RC Supremacy, and here we do focus entirely and solely on the 124 and 110 scale drift scene, the dedicated rear wheel drive drift scene. We um we import and source all the latest, all the hard to get products that are uh, not accustomed to being found in the states, and we also create content to help you guys aid in builds and uh, you know body work and custom paint work. It's all in the catalog, man. Go check it out. In between videos, man, just because we're not dropping YouTube videos, we're not dead, boys. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook daily. With that being said, let's get into today's video. We're doing a tabletop review on the Heiko soldering station. My workflow, it, uh, it, it doesn't require too much soldering, but we do offer a service on the website for customers to check out and have their ESC and motors soldered. With them coming in more regularly now, I just had to make sure I had the cream of the crop. Mine took a dump ski, so we went with this Heiko soldering station and things primo. You're gonna see a couple of micro kits be soldered now, and uh, the Yokomo Electronics from the MD1 build that we had a month or so ago. This is the soldering of that. There's footage to come on that kit and uh, what it's doing on the track. It's serious, sick, love that thing, and it better be worth it, man. It had a six hour stream. Six hours. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Let's go! This is the Heiko FX880D soldering station that I had shipped to me via Amazon Prime for $105. And quite frankly, I'm very upset at myself that I did not do it any sooner. I have since filming this video done a ton of soldering with this station and I am very, very impressed. I will mention that this is not going to be an informative or intuitive video on how to solder. I will leave those links down below in the description if you do want to uh, get that knowledge and help comfort you along the process. Uh, this is basically just my insertion to the workflow for this station, what I utilize it for, um, which is just strictly RC electronics. I solder and desolder pads for ESCs, motor terminals, uh, connectors for uh, batteries, and it um, it is by far the best station I have ever used. Uh, one thing I will mention that the station itself comes with the standalone iron stand, and I've never ever experienced that in other uh, stations I have owned, and have found that very very helpful to move around my workspace uh, without having to move the whole unit itself. So I found that very helpful in the last couple weeks soldering and uh, and just kind of implementing it. Um, it does reach temperatures of 890 degrees, uh, goes up and down in in uh, intervals of 10 degrees at a time, and as as low as a hundred degrees. Uh, one thing I will mention that it is very, very responsive. When they say that this recovery time and the sensitivity at the uh, heating element is accurate, they mean it. Um, I was literally cleaning the tip with the uh, damp sponge that is is provided right here, as you see me pour, and it is uh, it's within milliseconds instantly fluctuate in the temperature on the iron, uh, which shows me that it is built for consistent soldering. Um, all of the necessary materials here to get some soldering done, uh, rosin core, I have some flux, which is very, very important for both desoldering and flowing the solder onto uh, specific things. Um, I just suggest, man, having a clean workspace prior to getting into soldering, um, making sure everything's fluxed, making sure everything is tinned, and most importantly, making sure Sure your iron tip is clean before and after every single uh, solder I mean that's every connection every single thing you do if you're soldering go back to that sponge go back to that steel wool and definitely clean it 